it wasn't until I had that experience and that uh, exposure to international design that I realized how amazing our own design here is in Phoenix. It's like the building is a living textbook. The first time that I brought a group of people here to tour the David and Gladys Wright House, we planned the event to be at sunset so we could really observe the play of light across the landscape and of course the beautiful sunset on Camelback Mountain. And I, we took one of our guests up onto the roof and we were talking with Sarah Wright Levy and observing all that was going on in the grounds and my guests were just first of all deeply thrilled and very touched by the entire experience. But one guest in particular was so deeply moved aesthetically by what she was seeing that she couldn't even believe that she was having this experience. I really love this building. I think that uh, anytime I bring somebody here for the first time and I experience it through their eyes for the first time, uh, it tends to have a very uplifting and satisfying uh, emotional impact upon people when they come and visit this place. As an architecture student, one of the coolest drawings I saw um, that made a huge impact on me was this preliminary drawing of the David and Gladys Wright House. And uh, you can see it here, there's the preliminary plan, um, and as Frank Lloyd Wright finishes that plan, he moves into something much more hard-line dimensioned, showing the, the proportions and the way that the house spirals around. Frank Lloyd Wright talked about one of the most important things that we as humans can do, which is to create the masterwork. And um, he felt, I think, that this house was indeed one of his masterworks. It was both something that he could experiment with and also something that was a, a realization of his ideas, his ideas of spatial complexity. One of the things that very, very few architects today or since Frank Lloyd Wright have been able to achieve. I am really excited about the prospect of there being a museum facility here and having it available and open to the public, especially for the education of young people here in the Valley. Um, I'm particularly excited to bring my own classes here because the demonstration of all the different fundamentals of design that we see here at present in the building, its uh, texture, its pattern, its light and shadow, its rhythm and repetition and void and mass and all of the things that we teach in Fundamentals of Design class are all present here. I really am excited for them to be able to see how Phoenix is a center of design and that so much happened here in the 40s and 50s and 60s. So it again acts as a living textbook for us to see how we fit into the international design history scheme.